Hi everybody and welcome to this third part of the video that I was uh, the whole situation of the real trading example that I decided to do for you in order to explain or to have a vision of what is the uh, way sometimes we can trade it depends always on the setup of the markets um, after the second video I was very tired and went to bed some hours of course it's, uh, it was night and I had some, to recover some, some hours of sleeping even because I'm a bit with the flu so I woke up this morning right half an hour ago now it's 9 o'clock it's Friday and let's see what our results are in regards to the algorithm um, as usual I said that I wanted to show you also what these values are in terms of uh, graphical representation and actually if you take a look to the previous videos you see that what I was uh, studying about the behavior of a rising GDP against uh, falling other currencies uh, that was, was what happened at a certain point GDP tended to fall a bit until it found support on these currencies and then it took again a new uh, to hit a new high uh, so a new condition of rising and uh, other currencies are now behaving in sell even if I've noticed at the first time this is a trade of 10 hours and not 10 hours because as you can see here the values of the time it's uh, 20 minutes from midnight okay and now we are at 10 30 so exactly 10 hours and um, today I think I'm gonna do a lot of things so I will also close the positions to show you uh, some considerations uh, I diversified my risk on uh, Aussie, CAD, Yen and New Zealand dollar and as you may notice I was right to double the Aussie and the Yen. I should have done it also with the CAD. Uh, less lucky was the New Zealand dollar that of course in the weekly was anyway not that weak so I took it as a bit of risk and in fact this is the first uh, trade that I closed. Um, also, I can take a position of uh, GBP Australian dollar and a position of GBP yen. Okay, so let's do our first uh, detail report. this is it okay with three trades same account of course hours can be 9 or 10 it depends on the hour of the server the account is still the same we got uh, a starting situation like this then it went to 300 400 then it went down if you remember to 93 but I think that during the night it reached again the minus 300 uh, that I was initially anyway paying with the situation of the higher spread okay so the price retraced I should have wait another moment to to trade more in advance but I wanted to start and then have a, a, 
an ending uh, proportional and give some time to the to the tray to breath. Here we see that GBP New Zealand dollar was the currency that retraced the most. But the currency pair was anyway helped by the fact that other currency pairs like GBP CAD, Aussie and Yen, most of all Yen, were uh, reacting, compensating. Okay, so instead of pointing just in one because was not this the case to trade this way I have diversified my risk and again as you can see this is the graphical representation that in certain cases means uh, retracement in other case means trend here for example there was this level up of uh, signal with this big retrace that went to hit the, the overlapping with the London session that just started uh, one hour ago and uh, but then there was this final <coughs> it hop of uh, GBP yen and uh, GBP Australian dollar same in this part and then quite stable and GBP CAD see here it was a final uh, spike to reach a high to then go down and reach this area this yellow area here that you see and uh, focus the, um, the buyers power here in this sec in this uh, price level and then go up so I'm going to close also these positions and make a final account report. Okay, <coughs> so in just uh, 10 hours with six trades. And with these uh, values that usually you always can verify, uh, this was the result, very clean, very simple, on Friday, and uh, it's quite enough for a day. Mm, this is why <coughs> sometimes I, I do stop the trades, it's just to show that we have to take out the the profit and not leave it there because uh, brokers and institutions they have their own algorithms for for um, reading the positions of every trade uh, I already handled my personal trade in the real account but here was for your uh, Example. So this is the very same value, and uh, what else to say? And of course, this was the rep graphical representation that allowed me to read. See here, we have the yen that it's falling at this moment, but this way and probably will fall more, I don't know, I, for me it's enough even because when I'm not trading only Japanese Yen but I'm also trading Japanese Yen against something else so it's the whole situation that we have to visualize and understand anyway with this graphical representation you may have more idea of what you are reading here Real-time values, tick by tick, they are telling me that GBP went even stronger. It now is 1400 
and Aussie Swiss franc. I should have traded Swiss franc. And uh, let's see, just it was my thinking about uh, not trading Swiss franc, but I in this case I should have had trade that. Okay, you don't want me to load the chart. Okay, strange behavior. It's probably because I had more more. Um, platforms open and let the computer run for a long time so probably the memory is almost <laughs> exhausted anyway even Swiss franc even in the daily we see it's quite negative and if we also see the situation so this is Swiss franc the gray we see that there could have been a good trade also for this okay this completes as a final recap so i will not make it that long uh, the information uh, that i usually share with you in regards to how to use this this algorithm and i hope that the many questions that i have uh, I am receiving constantly every day have uh, got a comprehensive answer on the, the major uh, topics that are regarding this kind of trading and um, I'm happy also to show you that this module uh, graphical uh, module is giving some important information uh, coherent information about the channeling of uh, the price in relation to the fair price of the instrument so all this said i wish you a good end of the week uh, a good for me a good recover from the flu and uh, thanks for watching these three videos uh, writing and subscribing on my channel as usual i am available for your considerations on the comments here below in the channel or via email or via skype so after a good weekend i hope you to have also a good start of the week and i wish you with this uh, final results, a good time and a good space. Bye.